You know, a long, long time ago, the Picts were here defending their local community, and here we are about a millennia and a half later on, and the community has turned out to defend itself again. Well done. I give a huge round of applause to all the organisers of today's event. They've done an amazing job. It's a wee bit cold, but I am asking myself, where's the gravy when you need it? But today's a very special day. I don't remember the last time Burkhead had a big rally like we've got today. And of course, there's people here from throughout the whole money defend very important vital services that you all value in your local communities. And today's solidarity speaks volumes. So well done again. We have people here from Holman, people from Rolness, I think, Dublin, Cullen, Threthy, Pornocky, all communities, and of course a huge turnout from here in Parkhead of people to defend the local communities. And a and a lot of other places. Over these last few weeks, I'm sure that many of you, I have felt that we are returning to the Middle Ages. We feel as if civilization around us is just being slowly but surely dismantled. You know, education, learning, the arts, the rich heritage represented by here today, they're all very special, and they're what are the building blocks of civilization, and what we all want to protect. I could not believe, and to believe you believe in you me, I've been calling the Murray Council to get national attention for this area for a long, long time. But I didn't expect it to be around the fact that they are wholly and utterly destroying the arts budget. This is a disgrace. It is an embarrassment when we put a laughing stock to the rest of the country when they put us in the national news for the fact we're the only council, perhaps not just in Scotland, but the whole of Britain, who are losing their arts budget. They've got to change that policy and change it now. I went to the library when I was a kid. My kids go to the local library where I live just outside Elgin. Education and learning are vitally important to people. You can't put a price on that, you have to protect it. Our local libraries play such a valuable role. And I want you all to give a round of applause for the staff who work in our libraries who have been winning national awards for the service they deliver. in their own communities, get their learning opportunities, get to see the wider world, expand their horizons and have a richer life, particularly our youngsters, and well done to young people who are turning out today as well. All the generations, of course the elderly, who don't want to feel isolated, who want services on their own doorstep, they might not be able to get a bus to the bigger community to access those services. We have to think about the public interest here, and that's why these local services are so vitally important. And you know there's a legal obligation on local authorities. There's a legal obligation on local authorities to provide adequate library provision in their council areas. I don't think shutting of a whole host of libraries and small communities is adequate provision for money. I, I think it's scandalous and we should avoid it. So the final point, point I just want to make is all local, local authorities and, and the Scottish, Scottish government, and I know that, have to take, take really tough, tough decisions at, at the moment. moment. These, These are very tough economic, economic times. times. We are coping with significant cuts from the Westminster government to the Scottish government, and then of course that has an impact on wider public services around Scotland. The Murray Council does have a budget of £182 million. That does mean tough decisions. I don't envy the task. We have to all recognise that. But there are some vital services that form the core of our society and civilization. And as I said before, you can't put a price on that. So, so let's call today for the Murray Council to go back to the drawing board, to work with our local communities, 
and the rest of the world is more tried than the people of Parkhead and the people of Murray to be. When it comes to the arts, when it comes to libraries, it comes to other vulnerable already suffering local services in our local communities that we need to be human beings. Save our libraries, that's a world guy, save our arts budget and stop these cuts. Thank you very much. Council are looking to do here. Now, you see, I've been walking with, with a, a banner that says, down, down with this sort of thing. thing. <laughs> now, now, I would, I would like, like to extend, extend that metaphor slightly and say, say dearly beloved, we are, we are gathered, gathered here today to bring together the boot of public outrage with the backside of Mori Council. <laughs> Now, I've got, I've got the, the Maury Council, Council Self-Evaluation 2012 report here. here. This, this is, is what, what they say about, about their, their library, library services. services. There's, There's a, a very, very strong atmosphere of collaboration, teamwork and, and cooperation, which, which will help sustain, sustain the service as, as further change and innovation, innovation takes place. Uh, I think, think innovation, innovation means something, something slightly different, different in Murray Council, Council that, that it does, does in the rest, the rest of the civilized world. world. <laughs> Cutting six, six libraries is not innovation, it is cultural incompetence. <laughs> Every single piece that they marked the libraries on has been put down, down as, as excellent. excellent. That's, That's what the Council, Council thinks of its, its library services. services. So, so why, why the hell, hell are they, they cutting, cutting so, so many of them? No, no I, 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 love I love libraries. I don't, I don't know, know a writer who doesn't. doesn't. They, they are cathedrals of books, knowledge, power, and an opportunity for people. people. It's, it's the, the place, place that I very, very first got, got to choose my own book. book. Not, Not the book, book my teachers wanted, wanted me to read, read or my parents wanted me to read. But, but the, the books, books I wanted, wanted that inspired me and fired me, fired me up. And, and I, I think, think it is absolutely disgraceful that we are, are going to be denying the children and their children, children of, of those opportunities. opportunities. So, so cut, cut the cuts. cuts. We've, We've had, had enough of them. And I have a petition here signed by 60 local artists and what they would like me to read out on their behalf is the Arts Development Service was a focal point and a conduit which brought the outside world to Maury and took Maury to the outside world. Art and culture are central to life in Maury and bring tourist scholars and euros, but coordination is necessary. The cuts gave a negative, negative impression of Murray, cut Murray off from a national, international platform and discourage inward investment. Arts development money doesn't support individual artists. This small pot of money supports the arts within the community, therefore supporting the community itself. And very often the most vulnerable groups within the community. We ask Maury Council to reconsider and to come up with alternatives that will continue to support the growth of the arts sector and hence encourage the material and intellectual life of the region. We ask the Maori Council to consult with the Maori artists, arts organisations and the creative sector in general. 
Thank you. Can I start off saying, in recognition of the fact that we have people from all parts of Murray, from all backgrounds, there are some people who are not here. And they're not here because they're not allowed to be here. And they're the people who work in our libraries. And they are our arts, arts officer in Murray. And I would like a huge round of applause and an appreciation from our librarians and those in the arts service in Murray. Thank you all for coming. 